before I'm getting ready to head out. Because that's the thing. I don't want to be caught off guard. I don't want to be caught unprotected, pants down, about to shit myself out in the woods. You never want to be caught about to shit yourself in the woods. That is your most vulnerable state. But no, so, so I, I honestly think that being prepared is just a genuinely good idea. Especially for, since I'm playing hardcore. I need to be prepared for any possible horrible outcome. What if a thunderstorm happens? I can sleep through that shit. Okay. There's two white sheep here, but I think... If I remember correctly, but I believe I had two ray wolves sitting back at base, meaning with three I can make a bed. Bed can stay there. We have this bed with us now permanently. So yeah, let's uh, let's explore around a bit, see if maybe I find something I didn't know existed. Ooh, nice chill fucking music that I do not remember ever being in Minecraft. <laughs> That's like Minecraft's music. How? I mean, we were just doing uh, me and a friend of mine. Well, a couple friends of mine, actually. I don't know why I just said me and one. It was three of us when we were doing this. Did a, uh, uh, this, like, music, put them against each other, almost bracket type thing. And we were reading how, you know, certain tunes stacked up to the other or whatnot. Yeah, I need a lot of torches. So I'm just gonna do that. And, uh, it was like, you know, we had three people, one not, so two would show up at like they'd be against each other and we vote which one that we preferred majority would win, right? Yeah. And there was multiple Minecraft bits that happened. You know, there was two. They had Sweden and then it was like C18B or something like that. I don't remember which exact name. And like, holy shit. I mean, Sweden's great, you know? Like, I, I personally love it. It's... It's what you think of when you think of Minecraft, but the other one, like C18B or whatnot. It, it hits hard for me because that is probably the more nostalgic one for me personally. Like, nostalgia is not something I really get a ton, you know? It's something I get a little bit more nowadays than I used to because I've actually grown up. So instead of it being, you know, these are the things that all my childhood did. You know, these are things that were my childhood, right? You know, we did a little bit of exploring. It wasn't that much. We didn't have a ton of time. There we go. Let's get some nice bed. Bedtime. You know, uh, we're going to day four. I'm actually just going to cruise around the water for a bit, see if I can... You know what? It is over this way where the yellow... Did I, like, walk around where the yellow drip thing is? Because I want to see if I can locate where that is. I think I just saw it over here. Nope, that was a tree. Oh, shit! A village! Let's fucking go! That's where I'm going to probably spend my day exploring here. <gasps> Good thing I have at least some amount of survival instincts. Okay, let's go through, explore everything. Thing is that uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be evil. Hay bears, while they don't seem useful at first, there's a shit ton of wheat. Some of these traders will trade stuff for a lot of wheat. And hay bears are a compact way of holding wheat. So I'm actually, and even then, I can make a shit ton of bread. So if I don't find a trader who I think is worth like trading with. I don't know, maybe they are. Traders have been redone, uh, like the, the villagers, they got updated a while back to all be like, they have their own different kinds, and I'm still familiar with that, but I'm not like, I never like looked too into all of them or whatnot. Yeah, you're like the priest or whatnot. What do you have? 32 rotten plus for an emerald and one emerald for two redstone dust. Keep that in mind. He wants us to be like, you know, his holy man killing out zombies. Do we have anything up here? No. Brewing stand, which, by the way, you know what? Fucking Chad, that I know that that's there. I think that might be his job thing, so I don't want to take it just yet. Two cows in here, meaning I can actually... 
I can breed them. Yeah, I am, by the way, I am the person who is going to steal from all the villagers. That is me. I am that guy. They, their food is entirely, entire existence is for me to steal it. I don't need a lot of this stuff. I have two, I have two, and especially if there's another broom stand in there, I'm going to actually take one. That way I still have one, you know? That I don't even need to go to the nether for. Like, that's fucking huge. Now, I'm not going to pick up the uh, brewing stand if there is one in here just yet. There is. Because I don't remember if you need iron for... Actually, you know, that stone should be fine. I think we just need to be pickaxed, yeah? Yeah, it is his job. But I have a brewing stand. I probably should have checked to see if he actually had something good. You know what? Let me set it back down. Same trait, exact same trait. I don't need two of you. Farmer, farmer, you want wheat, don't you? Wheat for emeralds. See, this is what I'm talking about because now. You know, we can get some emeralds by going, sir, come here. Give us a shit ton of emeralds. Well, we just leveled him up, like, fully. You see what I mean? About how wheat is, like, the most useful fucking shit to grab, and, like, these hay bales are overpowered. Now, because of that, I can get some redstone, meaning if I get iron, I can actually... Oh, we have a third one! Damn, my man! I could start getting leather, which is honestly a huge thing to be getting. And you might think I'm just saying that, you know, like, oh, leather armor? No, I'm not going to use leather armor. My first set of gear is going to be iron. Just straight. Why do I not want to use leather super early on? Is because leather becomes really good late game. Now, obviously, if you just get a cow farm, leather will not be a problem. And that shouldn't be too difficult for me since there's a village, like I said. Pretty. Gotta be more careful. We're gonna get back to, to base. I've left myself my little landmark there, telling me that this is, you know, somewhere important. I'm actually gonna do the same on top of my base. It's gonna ruin that little aesthetic that I have, but being able to find my base is pretty important. Like, that's one of the most important things. So, losing my base would be a massive L. So I want to be sure I don't do that, because that would be kind of sad if I lost my own base. Fine, because we did get some, you know, extra food before. I just kind of clear that. I'm going to store some of the stuff I really don't need on me. I don't need to be carrying gold nuggets with me. I don't really need leather on me. This brewing stand, I can place down the brewing stand, you know. We have our, our sign of victory in here. The brewing stand. Just add some extra light in here, you know? So we have our we have our victory brewing stand. But uh we're gonna end this video off here. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um we actually we've survived and I'd say done pretty damn well for ourselves. You know, we we have we've set up a little a little thing over there. I, uh, we can actually see from here, so I know that there's something over there. You know, we have our little thing to help find our our base. 
Uh, I probably do a little bit more exploring around. Maybe we can strike iron soon. We have a freaking brewing stand. It's really cool. Dope, honestly. Thank you guys for joining me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.